Hi folks, Tim here from High End Cheap Tech, and today you should see a picture appearing on the screen of what came in the mail from Amazon, the Sabrent uh, disk, external hard disk dock slash one button cloning tool. Kind of like a toaster for cloning SSDs or hard drives. Three and a half. Either or, it'll work with. Uh, it's a SATA 3. Uh, we're going to get around to the unboxing right after the intro. Let's get to that right now. Hi folks, Tim here just cutting in. We're going to uh, just tell you about TubeBuddy.com. If you are a creator on YouTube, you should be using this. Uh, the link it will be on the screen here, but it will also be in the description below. As you can see, the prices are, those are for the advanced licenses. You could try this for free. Um, they made me a really good offer after I tried it for about a week. Uh, I'm paying $4.50 a month offer I could not refuse so check that link again on the screen yeah uh, tubebuddy.com forward slash high end cheap tech or check the description below when you're done watching the video and that's all I have let's get right back to the video right now all right folks today we had a couple of goodies show up uh, now I've already taken the Sabrent uh, disk cloning tool slash external hard drive dock out of the uh, packaging and because it was looking like it'd be a pretty difficult box to get open it actually turned out to be fairly simple what comes in the box is you get the docking station there is a power supply 12 volts 3 amps that is plugged in already behind the computer here you're not going to see it it's a good size brick and then you're going to get this cable that's what you hook to the back of the Sabrent here. Uh, and then the other side has your USB port to go to your PC. As you can see, this is a really heavy duty cable. Now, we're not going to need this today. Uh, but uh, we will eventually someday need it. So, I'm going to set that off to the side. It comes with a very good manual. And it has this button here for offline cloning. And that's what I'm going to do later tonight. I'm going to remove the drive from the Zotac over here. That has a 240 in it. That will go in the first slot. I've already read the instructions. And then I'm going to place the silicon power that we're going to actually unbox. So we have some sort of unboxing here. Uh, into the other side. And then you hold the clone button down and it'll blink. And then you hit it one more time. And it's going to start the cloning process. And you will end up with a perfect clone. And I will move from a 240 to a 512. I will screw that back into the Zotac. And I have reached nir Nirvana. But let's get right around to the uh, unboxing of the silicon power. Uh, I'm using my magnificently strong fingers. I'm going to, yeah, okay. I admit that I did a little pre cutting here. I like pre cutting so that we could easily get this SOB out of there. And we have. Not much to it, not much to do, and there it is, one silicon power 512. These things weigh nothing, folks, they're exceedingly light weight, and uh, there will be a bracket that goes on this thing that I believe is going to screw in right back here, and then this is going to slide in. And then the top of the bracket, I'll have more screws. And that'll be that. It should go right into my uh, unit once it's cloned. And of course, 
when we're cloning it, it's going to be over here, sitting, I guess, like so. Uh, not exactly sure, never tried putting anything in here yet. Uh, I'll look down and see. Uh, wide blade, narrow blade. Uh, uh, goes this way. And it'll fit in here somehow, I'm told. There it goes. And it's in there. Just like that. One that one. And then the other one will go over here. Nothing to it. Cloning will be quite simple when that point arrives later today. So, we've got our unit. We ain't gonna mess with it too much. As you can see, the LED lights up showing we're driving here. Uh, we're gonna get it unplugged, I think. Oh, there we go. And that LED should go out now. I would hope. Maybe. Maybe not. Huh. There. Yeah. Alright. So, the silicon power is looking pretty good here. It's a sharp little unit. Should work super dandy. With the setup I currently have. So we'll get that cloned later and maybe come back and talk about the whole cloning process and how long it took in another video. But that's tonight's unboxing. They're here. We're going to get to it. Hopefully, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I'm really tired tonight. We'll see. But that's all for now. Thanks for checking out the video. We'll get back to you with another video later. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye for now.